Foreign tourists came to Tunisia's Bardo Museum to learn about ancient history. They ended up running for their lives. Some were killed as they got off their tour bus. Others managed to hide inside the museum. Armed police rushed to offer cover. They didn't know how many gunmen they were facing. This was an attack in daylight right next to Parliament. Its audacity surprised the country and those caught up in it. We were just visiting the museum. Suddenly there was a loud noise. A statue fell to the floor. Several shots were fired. We found another couple with their children. We didn't know what to do, so we hid. Museum staff opened a back door to allow visitors to escape. They left as quickly as they could. Security forces surrounded the museum, and after several hours, they regained control of the grounds. The wounded were sent to nearby hospitals. They'd come to Tunisia because they thought this part of the Middle East was safe. But some who came for a holiday won't make it back. Here, the bodies of those killed in the attack were lined up. At night, a crowd gathered outside the museum. Tonight, crowds have come out here to show their support for Tunisia. And this place should have been one of the most safest locations in the entire country because the museum is right next to the parliament. But very clearly, its defences were overwhelmed. Dozens of Tunisian soldiers have been killed fighting against armed Islamists. And the so-called Islamic State has gained ground across the border in Libya. But this, an attack right inside Tunisia's capital, is different and maybe more terrifying. The Arab Spring began in this country four years ago. Tunisia has managed to avoid the larger wars which have hit other Arab states. But this attack here in its capital reveals this country's vulnerability. James Reynolds, BBC News, Tunis.